everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. After the very quick one we had in the last episode with the Blue Candle, we're actually going to do another one that seems to be quick. It's called In a Hurry. It was suggested by YouTube user Floating Jet. Basically, this run's a little confusing to me, but it's almost like a speedrun type run, but not in the sense that you're just taking like Epic Fetus and blowing through every single boss in two seconds. We have... 99 cents, so we got the dollar item. We have Pyro, 99 bombs. We have Skeleton Key, so 99 keys. We have Skinny Odd Mushroom, which greatly increases our fire rate. We have Pentagram, as you can tell by the horns on top of us, uh, which increases our damage a lot. We have the Shovel. Now, the thing with the Shovel is we have to use it after six combat rooms. There are two exceptions. We, we don't have to use it on the first floor, and we don't have to use it on the wound part, too. The reason we don't have to use it on the first floor, obviously, uh, is because it's already fully charged when you start the first floor. Uh, the reason you don't have to use it on the wound part too, I believe, is so we can go to the cathedral. So, the first floor, I kind of have as much time as I want to kind of tool around, pick up some spirit hearts, excellent. Uh, but I think the general premise of this run is basically, I'm going to be trying to get to the item room in the shop, which are allowed, uh, items are allowed by any source, uh, without hitting six rooms. So I'm basically going to have to compensate uh, for the fact that I am going to have to go do I'm, I'm explaining it in the most roundabout way possible right now, basically. Me go down, me have six rooms, if me no find item room in six rooms or boss room in six rooms, too bad. I have to go down to the next floor anyway. So we're going to try to basically guess which way is going to be the right way to go in order for us to get items. You might be saying, Northern Lion, you're on like room six right now. Well, Dinglehorn, I uh, just explained that you don't have to do it on the first floor or the wound part, wound part two, but we're done with the wound parts, or we're done with the first floor anyway. Boom part 2 is probably a significant amount of time away. I have no idea how this is going to work out. Work out. I sort of don't even get why this run uh, is remarkable. I mean, it's kind of cool. I, I enjoy runs where I uh, have a lot of damage like this right off the bat and a lot of killing power, basically, and speed through things as quickly as possible because that's my general style uh, for the most part. Anyway, but this was like a really, really high-rated comment, so I thought there was some kind of like gimmick to it that maybe I'm missing, but hey, who knows? Anyway, we get a cube of meat, and in order to make this easier for us to understand, I'll use the shovel now and take this down uh, so that this will charge up. And once this hits six charges, or, you know, like one actual charge, I will have to use it. By the way, the other stipulation was uh, on XL floors, should we run into one of those, then I have 12 rooms uh, before I have to use it. So, like, two charges, basically. But this is great because we actually got to the boss room, or combat rooms, I should say, by the way. Unoccupied rooms don't count. Uh, so, Hero Font is going to be great for us. And we've only really done two combat rooms. So we should actually probably be able to explore the entire floor here. That's awesome. We got Mr. Mega. Doesn't actually give us extra bombs, but it does give us a sweet, like, Dovakin helmet here. We also get Whore of Babylon. Which means if we get a deal with the devil on this floor, who knows? We might be able to just enter permanent curse state and just do a ton of damage. Which would be effing fantastic. Of course, every item we get is also beneficial for us in the long run anyway, so we get HP upgrade, which I probably shouldn't have taken yet, but we get Spirit Heart, and in here, we could use Gup- oh, this is a weird one. I can't even take Guppy's Paw, let's just go crazy and get the Mark instead, which will increase our damage greatly, uh, and also increase our rate of fire. Now, the problem is, I'm getting a little cocky here, despite the fact that we don't really have any Spirit Hearts, uh, like any way to replenish our Spirit Hearts, I should say. Remember, I don't have to go down just yet. Uh, but I think this is going to be a high-risk, high-reward strategy that has the potential to work out, at the very least, interestingly for us. Maybe not fantastically for us, but interestingly for us nonetheless. So we've explored basically the entire floor. Well, actually the entire floor. Uh, I might as well go to the shop. I don't even know. I, I don't want a battery or anything like that, despite them having it. Uh, maybe we just want a pill and we'll see what this does. Tears up. Beautiful. Okay, that was definitely worth going in for. Uh, the 9 volt is not necessary. It's just going to confuse me with respect to... Uh, these shovel charges, which are now working out absolutely fine for us. We can always use our bombs to attack as well. I should have just blown up that slot machine, because there was no reason why not. But anyway, uh, that is a remarkably good seller part two for us, so we're going to go down to the next floor, hoping uh, that things get even better as we move along. I was interested to see if maybe Guppy's head would work for us, but I guess uh, Guppy's head is something we couldn't have taken with us, which is what I was mainly concerned about. By the way, um, we've already used... Like two, we had two, we had four charges when we came in here. So I have done two combat rooms, we're just gonna count to the next four. But this will simplify itself as we move on for sure. So this is gonna be halfway through to our shovel charge. And I'm really gonna be hoping to find either item room or boss room. First things first though. We 
Picked up two bombs for the price of one. Not really worthwhile at all, but pretty fly. That's a nice upgrade. Uh, maybe down. This will be our fourth room. Then we'll go boss room, which is room five. And I don't think we're going to be able to get to the item room. But at the very least, getting to the boss room means the potential for an HP upgrade or a deal with the devil. Which could put me in permanent curse day, which would be fantastic, of course. So that's room four. This is uh, not anything. So this is room four still. This is room five. Starring Adam Levine. We might as well pop the magician card so I don't have to carry it anymore. Uh, and we should be able to kill this enemy incredibly quickly, given the amount of damage that we're dealing right now. If we can't get a health upgrade, then I would greatly enjoy a damage upgrade as well. But something like the Relic or the Mitre would be fantastic as well. Although those are incredibly unlikely drops for us to get here. But more Spirit Arts. They're just dropping like crazy, thankfully. Uh, we do get an HP upgrade, which is beautiful. And we technically have one more combat room that we can go to, so we might as well. Maybe we'll be able to amass uh, some more Spirit Arts. We're one room away! Sadly. So now, after this room, we have to go down to the next floor immediately, but let's see. Bombs are key. Doesn't make any difference. Just wanted to see what we're missing. Just a speed upgrade, no big deal. Okay, now, things are gonna make way more sense, because as soon as the shovel gets charged, we're gonna be good to go. It was actually a, a relatively small basement part 2 floor, cellar 2, uh, that put us in this weird position. But essentially, as soon as the shovel is charged, we have to go. Whether we've seen the item room, whether we've seen the boss room, the problem is that I think... Um, we're not going to be able to get the Polaroid, so I might... If we end up skipping the Polaroid, I'll probably pull up Cheat Engine quickly to give us that trinket. So we still have four charges left on this thing. we got a Forget Me Now, which we cannot use. That's kind of the opposite of the shovel, actually. And we're definitely going to play Judgment here, see if he, maybe he can shell out for something beautiful. It's a key. I mean, it's, it's alright. We kind of have a thousand of them already. Uh, and I think the reason he got unlimited money, unlimited bombs, and unlimited keys was basically to be like, you have no restrictions in your play, except for the fact that you have to go as fast as possible. So I, I completely understand the, the, the reasoning behind that. Beyond that, we need those bombs, keys, and, and dollars, or money I should say, uh, that's gonna complicate things. Uh, we need all those resources, essentially, uh, in order to make sure that we can get through, or get as many upgrades as is humanly possible. Because otherwise, if we didn't have money, we weren't able to get like health upgrades from Judgment or something, uh, we could possibly have no health by the time we made it through to the end of the floor, or even the end of our game, basically. Uh, and just be like, oh, I'm basically still just using base cane. Which sounds like a sweet new way to do mathematics. Uh, but yeah, still using base cane, like, halfway through the game. Or all the way through the game, as the case might be. So we still have two more rooms left again. We're gonna be fighting Pestilence, this is pretty sweet. We're gonna get a cube of meat, which will function as a familiar for us now. Might even be able to get up to a uh, third or fourth level key meet now, by the way things are going so far. I am taking some stupid damage, but it's gone fairly well so far, and we're getting spirit hearts so often that I'm not too concerned about it. The only thing is, we can't replace our spacebar item with, like, the nail or something, so... Uh, it's never gonna get any better for us unless we get incredibly lucky, but hey, deal with the devil. We are able to pick up... I know you guys are gonna hate this, but I'm gonna pick up Brimstone, the reason being, that's gonna put us in the permanent curse state. We do still technically have one more room that we can go to, so why not do that and simplify things a little bit here. The reason I did that was not to get the effect of Brimstone, it was more to lose the two red hearts so that I'd constantly be in the permanent curse state, and we should be doing a ton of damage now, which is great. Plus, if it's a speedrun, Brimstone fits in for me for sure. Now, we're still not doing that much damage, but it's, you know, more than we could be. So, Shovel now. We're gonna be going down to the depths part one. Do we have much chance of beating this run? I, it's hard to say. I think we have a very good chance of, of beating Mom. Uh, if we don't beat Mom, in fact, I'd be very disappointed. But I said that on the last run, it's like, if, it, if we don't beat Mom with the candle, I'll be very disappointed. And then I ended up, well, who would have thought, very disappointed. So there's one room, we have five remaining, we will absolutely go to the shop, and for sure we will bust open that Tinted Rock, which is the most important resource for us probably in this game. Shop just contains the Steam Sale, which we might as well buy because we have a staggering amount of money. Hanged Man could potentially become useful as well, we have four rooms remaining to check out. Two Spirit Hearts is basically the ideal haul there. Uh, three rooms remaining to check out, which means I'm hoping we come across item room or boss room. Okay, boss room's fine, I'll deal with that. Uh, and this is gonna be room five. Then we'll have one more room to check. It's always- oh, nice, third level cube me. It's always possible we can get to the item room still, just by coming across, like, non-combat rooms on the way. 
It's incredibly unlikely, though. So unlikely, I, I didn't even think it warranted being brought up, but I ended up doing it anyway. We're gonna use the Hanged Man, actually, just to hide over here. Okay, War can still hit us, apparently. Uh, because fuck physics, right, War? Dick move, my friend. Dick move. So I'm trying to let the entire Brimstone Wave just hang out over top of them, but it's not necessarily working out that way every single time. Uh, we got a cube of meat, which is great. Third level meat boy. I was kind of thinking we might get Krampus here, but oh well. So we're going to check out one more room. I can't take anything as much as I would love to take Spirit of the Night. If I could go back in time and not take uh, the Pact, or the, the Mark, I would now do that, but you know, hindsight's 2020. So we are down to the depths part two. Almost positive we're going to end up skipping the uh, Polaroid here, but in which case I will end up just giving myself the Polaroid in Cheat Engine, which you will be privy to. Oh, me boy, don't be a dick about it. Giving yourself polar like trinkets in Cheat Engine? Oh, I don't want it. I don't want it, actually. Uh, giving yourself trinkets in Cheat Engine is a little finicky, actually. You have to give yourself, like, deck of cards, and then set it so deck of cards will only give you the Polaroid. I can also just check the option that is, like, don't need the Polaroid to go to the chest. However, uh, I believe that just takes us immediately to the chest, which is not what I want, obviously. I want to do normal style and uh, go to the Cathedral as well. Because the Cathedral is actually a decent opportunity to test our run. Basically, like, proof of concepting our run against a similar floor in difficulty. Uh, but the show, oh man, that's the worst case scenario. I was gonna say there should be something over here for us to deal with. Or, for, like, some good room, like an item room or a shop. But actually reaching a dead end is terrible news for us. Totally possible we just do not encounter a boss room, shop, or item room on this floor. But hey, the golden chests are around. Please, like, a tears upgrade or a range upgrade would be awesome. Missing page is completely useless. I'm not even gonna pick it up because we're gonna end up just getting... Uh, the Polaroid soon anyway. So we're just gonna wait for these guys to kind of walk into the middle of the things here. Or not. We'll just let Meat Boy take care of it, I suppose. We could get our fourth level Meat Boy if we get very lucky on the womb. So this is gonna be our second to last room. There's still a... Oh, that was terrible. There's still a chance we come across something useful. Now there is not. <laughs> but we'll uh, take a second on this floor to get everything set up again. So we're gonna go Cheat Engine. And apologies if for whatever reason you hate Cheat Engine. We're gonna go add item and entry next room. Deck of cards. Well, I guess we don't even need to give it to ourselves on this floor, but why not? Uh, and then you uh, open up Isaac here and you go like this. So we get deck of cards. And then we go, uh, deck of cards always gives the Polaroid right here. So we walk into the next room, we get deck of cards. It gives us the Polaroid. And then we just give ourselves the shovel again, which is back here. Uh, we have to go deeper, I believe it's called. Yeah, we need to go deeper. Okay, so we take that. Click on it, please. Don't F with me, game. Now's not the time. Oh, it's because I haven't unchecked a uh, deck of cards yet. Now you see why setting up these runs, for me, is always a pain in the ass. So we'll just go with, we need to go deeper, shovel. Beautiful. We'll turn off all this junk now. And we have the Polaroid, and we are good to go. But I'm not sure how much longer we are going to last on this run. Uh, but we'll pop the shovel. It is down to the next floor, sadly bereft of all the treasure we've gotten. But hey, Brimstone, Permanent Curse State, and Six Spirit Hearts has carried a lot of people a long way. Will we be one of those people? I guess we shall see. I enjoy Brimstone greatly on floors like this, or rooms like this, where these assholes just hide constantly. Worth noting, by the way, that I could just, like, use bombs on every boss or every enemy, because we do have substantial bomb power now. So now I'm just looking for the boss room. There's, there's really nothing else that we can gain. Uh, I would love to fight Conquest or War. Uh, not Conquest, I guess, and not War either. Death! I would love to fight Death uh, in order to get the potential for this fourth level Meat Boy, which would be substantially more valuable than our third level Meat Boy, of course. Unfortunately, this is a dead end, and that's going to represent our fourth room. And if we get to our fifth room, it might just be a good idea for, idea for me to hermit, and uh, this is our fifth room indeed. I, after this room, I think it's a good idea for me to just use the hermit card. My reasoning being, it could possibly teleport us to the boss room. It's not a good chance, but it's a chance nonetheless. Didn't work. That's okay, though. We do have a champion here. Maybe we'll be able to pick up something. At the very least. Ah, one penny. Very useful. Uh, at the very least, that's going to mark the end of this floor. Sadly, we can't take Maggie's Faith with us. Not that we would want to anyway, because we're rolling fine with Spirit Hearts right now. Oh, this is one way to get the, uh... Was it Mama's Boy? For going through the womb and utero without being hit? But I would much rather just fight the bosses. 
Oh, and on the womb part too, by the way, this is the the other floor uh, where we are not allowed or not supposed to simply skip over once we get six uh, charges on the shovel, thus allowing us to leave the floor. Because on this one, we actually have to beat the entire thing just so that we can uh, actually go to the cathedral as opposed to uh, just going down to Shoal, which is more tempting for me right now, believe me, uh, because we probably have a very good chance in Shoal, whereas we have like a 2% chance in the cathedral. So I'm not doing a post-mortem on this run yet, because obviously it's not over yet, uh, but if I do lose this, I shouldn't have taken the, if I'd taken, if I'd skipped the mark and I'd taken, um, wow, that was a very lucky find. Uh, if I'd skipped the mark and I'd taken Brimstone and Spirit of the Night, I think we'd be in a much better position than we're in right now. Hindsight's 2020, of course. Uh, we're just gonna have Meat Boy hang out. I'm gonna be tossing in bombs like crazy. Meat Boy's gonna be sending those bombs elsewhere because he's a douchebag. That being said, we do have like crazy damage and killing potential here. Maybe our damage isn't that great, but our killing potential is quite strong. Alright, Meat Boy, don't kick the bomb! God, you're a dick sometimes. You are the worst, Meat Boy. Going out of, out of his way to kick bombs. If only I had homing bombs. Alright, you know what? Bombs are totally useless. This is the only fight where I absolutely hate having a Meat Boy. He will always kick the bombs at us. And now, Mom's Heart is like taking pity. It's spawning- oh man, this is not good. It's spawning the same enemy over and over and over. Just because it's like, wow, you are slow as molasses. There we go. So we spent- once we got into a good pattern with the bombs, we managed to speed it up a little bit. I didn't think that bomb would hit, and it might not have. Anyway, that was terrible. Uh, up to the next floor. We do have to use this on the cathedral, but we need to go through six combat rooms. And it's gonna charge on the first room, so... It's basically just gonna back it the F up here. And as soon as this goes, we're gonna start counting, because we only have five combat rooms to go. This is good, though, because I don't want to deal with Isaac on this floor if possible. Obviously, we have to deal with it on the chest. Uh, but Tinted Rock is awesome. So after this room, we will have four combat rooms remaining. Dead, fantastic. Tinted Rock is of the utmost importance. One, two Spirit Hearts, okay, that's valuable, so we have four left. After this room, we will have three combat rooms remaining. And now I'm starting to see the appeal of this run, I like it. You, you're balancing... That's the thing, is that the, the good thing about a... Or the thing about a good challenge run is that it's all about trade-offs, and we have great trade-offs in this run. We gotta go fast, but we also want to get as much item, or much treasure as possible. So we have three rooms remaining now, or four. Three, we have three rooms remaining. And we have another Tinted Rock that's beautiful. Um, so let's kill this and another Tinted Rock. Hopefully what I said about the trade-offs made sense there. Another Spirit Heart, beautiful. We're back to six, another Pretty Fly, good, a little added defense. We may very well, two left, may very well have a chance against Blue Baby, uh, although the chest is going to be a, a rigorous nightmare. Still two combat rooms remaining, this will be one combat room remaining after this. I could probably just look at the map and count it out, but those red hearts are obviously completely worthless. Uh, let us instead come here, kill Sloth. I said kill Sloth, meat boy, thank you. And you can take the final blow if you want. Just kidding! Uh, that is going to be it for us, so we are going to use our spacebar item, the shovel. I can't use it! Can't you shovel on the cathedral? Don't tell me we have to go through everything. Apparently, we have to go through everything. Uh, I don't like that. Because it means that basically this run, the functional elements of this run are over. Now we just gotta survive based on the uh, strengths of our items, which is basically impossible for me. Okay, so there's the world card. I Believe me, I keep testing the shovel, because I feel like it should work. But I guess it doesn't work, because what if you were here, uh, at this point in the game you had the shovel, but you didn't have the Polaroid. That would be a, a big loophole. I mean, the Polaroid mechanic, I mean, no offense by this, uh, but I still think the Polaroid mechanic is pretty useless and kind of annoying as well. Uh, even though it does drop consistently from Mom now. Before, it was, oh man. I don't even want to talk about that. The update that made it so you needed to have the Polaroid to get down to the chest, but Mom didn't drop the Polaroid every single time. That, like, basically ruined the Binding of Isaac temporarily. Alright, so... The other thing is we have the permanent invincibility from the Polaroid, but uh, that's not going to save us too much when it comes to those like really difficult boss fights towards the end. I think we may just have a chance, though. It's going to depend how this shakes out against Isaac. 
Uh, I would love to get some more spirit arts, but anyway. Here's, this is a big moment of truth for us. Yeah, well, that's a good start. I'm just gonna stand in the middle. We keep dropping these, like, Mr. Megas all around. I took two hits already. I thought I took three. That would have been unfortunate, to say the least. Okay, Meat Boy didn't push any bombs out of the way, so even though this fight has gone terribly for me so far, now we can start doing a little bit more damage. The problem is Meat Boy is constantly doing, like, a minute amount of damage, which is terrible because it means Isaac is constantly firing as well. So we have invincibility now. Let's use it. That should take him into third phase, more or less. Yeah, there we go. I can only get hit one more time. Getting hit twice is a death sentence. So I'm focusing mainly... Oh, God. Okay. Get in. Drop bombs. We're okay. Just play it cool. Beating... Oh, Isaac's dead. Okay. Kill the angel fetus. Down to the chest. Anything could happen now. We really need a lot of spirit hearts quickly. Holy water will not do that for us. Uh, all stats up. Will take us out of our permanent curse state, but we kind of need to take it at this point because it's the only thing that gives us a little extra chance of survival. Uh, no, it's just damage upgrade. Okay, my bad. Well, that is good, I guess, but still. Uh, we can't use the shovel on this floor, believe me. I just tried. And our time is absolutely numbered. Oh. Oh god, just don't kill yourself on a bomb fly. That's, I have very meager expectations of this room. Don't kill yourself with a bomb fly. And don't let Meat Boy kill you with a bomb fly either. That dude will do it! Oh my god, I reneged on my initial promise. In any case, thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Fruitful Jed, I believe, something like that, uh, for this challenge run suggestion. I was a little skeptical at first, but I decided to trust the commenters, and I'm glad I did. This is one of the most fast-paced and fun runs I have had in recent memory. As always, continue to suggest your challenge runs, and I will do the ones that I deem most entertaining, appropriate, or popular, or visible, etc., etc. In any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.